Today, on Be Something Wonderful, the 48-hour challenge that will change your life overnight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Good morning from the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. I have a big video for you today. This client I talked with a few days ago, and his concern was, Tom, I'm really concerned with my thoughts that they're going to manifest and, and, and what to do with my feelings because I, I haven't been feeling good lately either, so I'm worried about those. And then he's worried about the conditions that are showing up. He's worried about the thoughts, the feelings, and things in 3D reality. I really want to be clear here. We're going to cover this like we never have before. And I gave him a 48-hour challenge. I will talk to you about this 48-hour challenge, but he's already gotten back to me with a, with a series of emails of bizarre things happening in a good way in his reality. And one of them has to do with an, uh, an old girlfriend that they had broken up. And they both decided, well, it's better off that, they be, that they're friends, but then they both decided, well, they can't even be friends. Because, and so this whole thing, right? And, but they both wanted to be friends. And so, so he really wanted to be friends with her again. And she reached out and said that I miss us. I, I miss our friendship. I miss us. This is powerful. We don't know where this is going to go yet. He has an appointment with me later this month. It's in a couple of weeks because I'm a couple of weeks out. But guys, I, I want to talk about this because think about this. This whole idea, we, we had this discussion uh, a few days ago. This whole idea that spiritual teachers talk about thoughts become things, but they really don't. And thoughts are, are not even things. What are thoughts really? Thoughts reveal the things that are already there. Creation's finished. So thoughts already reveal creation. They reveal the potential that's already there. This is really what I want to get to. I did a video a few years ago about this, right? What do thoughts do? They create the experience of that one thing, that awareness of being, that God consciousness, all that is. They reveal the experience, they create the experience of that one thing or reveal the things that are already there, here and now. There's only one thing, awareness, consciousness, God source. That one thing that is pure potential to be all things. So what do thoughts really do? They condition that. They, they reveal that one thing, right, in the divine mind of God. <clears throat> so remember, you have the Father, first cause, the isness of reality, the absolute, right? And then you have the first manifestation of God, the Son, the beingness, the I am awareness, within which all things have their being, within which all things exist. That's the potential, that's the all things. That's where thought comes in, right? When you have a thought, you're revealing that all that, that, all that isness, a part of all that isness. <clears throat> you're revealing that which is already there, right? So in Him, in the Father, in that isness, in that absoluteness, we live, we move, and have our being, or we exist as I am awareness. That great I am, the great is this of reality. In him, the sun, the first manifestation, we live, we move, and have our being. So it's not so much mind over matter, trying to control your thoughts and feelings and the things out there, right? <clears throat> Remember, mind is matter, and matter is mind. There's no separation, there's no difference. So there's only that one thing with infinite, infinite, um, uh, perspectives, infinite vantage points, infinite viewpoints of experiencing it. And we experience that, those viewpoints of those things with our assumptions and our thoughts and our beliefs. So this is what we're going to hit today. So thoughts don't become things. They reveal the, the one thing, a perspective of that one thing. So it's not about creating, controlling, or changing anything. There's only one thing. Creation's finished. It's pure potential awareness, consciousness to be all things. And that's what thoughts do. Thoughts reveal that the things of that, that one thing from an 
infinite perspective from a different vantage point. It's about allowing the thoughts, allowing the feelings, and allowing the things to be as one quantum possibility or quantum possibilities or manifestations of the one thing that is all things. Allow them to be. It's not about resisting them. Because in that one thing, in that one thought, in that one feeling, in that one manifestation that you're looking at, looking at is all potential. Because the potential of God cannot be divided up. It cannot be broken apart. It, it, in, in, wherever God is at all, the all of God is. I've talked about this before. So in each thought, each feeling, in each thing, in other words, in each person, event, and condition, contains the potential, all power, all knowing, all potential of that one thing or the only thing. In all of those things that those thoughts, those conditions are the potential to be all things. So just stop judging them. Stop being afraid of your thoughts. Stop taking, trying to take them back, right? Abraham Hicks does that thing about taking, she does this thing with her mouth where they take the thought back. None of that's necessary because in, in, in that one thought, in that one feeling is the one thing of God, is all potential. So what is it really about? Seeing in that thought, that feeling, that condition, that thing, the potential of all things, of all realities, not judging it. Remember I did a video a year or two ago, maybe three years ago now, and I talked about Greg Braden. And Greg Braden, the spiritual teacher, Greg Braden talks about that idea of the non-medical hospital in China where they, where they were, three healers were standing over a tumor in a woman. And, I, and it showed, this video shows where the tumor shrinks where they were standing in the compassion and the knowing that that's one quantum possibility. But in that quantum possibility is the possibility of her being totally healed or whole. And that's what we're talking about here. That's what compassion is, standing in your knowing that that is a real experience. But, there, but within that real experiences are all experiences, all potentials to be anything. And standing in your knowing of how you would like things to be how you would like to see things, how you would have liked them to be if it's a past event. So all that potential, that one thing can be anything. Do you see it? The potential, all power, all knowing, all potential of that one thing to be anything. And who and what you're conscious of being determines your experience of that one thing. Who and what you're conscious of being, whether you decide to identify with that thought, that feeling and condition. Or in other words, identify with it, but identify with it as the potential to be all things and anything and whatever you want it to be. So if you're gonna identify with anyway, identify it in your ideal, right? But integrate the thought, the feeling, the condition in the awareness of being that you are. Bring it all into the whole or the complete being that you are. And then focus on, right, unfold reality. Fold it all in the vertical, as we talked about yesterday, into the beingness that you are, and then let, and integrate it, and then allow it to unfold in your ideal. Do you see this? This is how you transcend all of that. The paradox is that each thought, each feeling and thing, reveals one vantage point, or one perspective, or one thing, source, and in that thought, feeling, and thing is the all of God, all of source, all potential, all possibilities. All of it. That was part of this 48-hour challenge for him to see all thoughts, all feelings, all conditions as the potential of him to be, do, or have whatever he wants. Instead of judging the conditions, and even if he judges them, see the potential behind that judgment, behind that appearance behind that reaction, behind that response, is everything you want, right? It doesn't matter. Remember, you're new in every moment. So if you react, react. If you explode, explode. But in that moment, know that the potential in that reaction, in that explosion, in that response is all potential, all reality. And you're new in every moment. So you don't have to even look back. You just stand in that knowing, right? So this is big. And each thought, each feeling, each thing, right, the, the wanted and unwanted, desired or not, so whether it's wanted or unwanted or desired or not, is the potential of all things, the potential of all God, 
the potential of all of you, all that is. So instead of trying to ignore it, avoid it, change it, get rid of it, be scared of it, be afraid of it, try to take it back, all of that, lean into it. Lean into the thoughts, the feelings, and the, and the things. Allow them, integrate them as part of all that isness. Integrate them as part of all that quantum potential, right? That you are, so integrate all that while you are putting your attention and awareness on your choice, on your desire. This is powerful today. We've talked about this, I know. But we're, we're going to hit it in a different, different way, right? In a different, different way, whatever that means. <laughs> All manifesting in reality creation is about, remember, and I've said this in many different ways, becoming more aware of the unlimited potential and possibilities inherent in each thing, each thought, each feeling. In other words, inherent in you. That is, really the, that is really all things in, in, or that one thing. All, that one thing is all things. So you, it's not about trying to do anything with it other than, other than imagining and assuming and affirming it the way you would want, like it to be in your ideal. Right? That's the true divine meaning of compassion. Right? To recognize the condition, but seeing the truth behind the perceived appearance or undesired thought, feeling, or thing, or appearance. That's true compassion. Not, not, uh, not, di not ignoring the experience, not, not uh, trying to, to, to um, lessen the importance of that experience to the person that's experiencing it, but standing in your knowing that be, that, that experience can be all experiences, that all potential exists within that condition. Stand in that knowing. Right? That's true compassion. Not getting down there in the trenches with them and saying, oh yeah, that's a bad condition. I, I understand. Yeah, that's a negative feeling. You got to get, get rid of that. It's, it's understanding that all conditions have the potential for all possibilities within them. Right? So, so your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and assumptions and feelings don't manifest or create reality. They simply reveal, hear this, one quantum possibility that already exists. So your thoughts, your assumptions, your beliefs, your feelings, and I know I've talked about all of these as being creative on some level. There's no contradiction here though. We're talking about the paradox of reality creation, right? That all thoughts, assumptions, and beliefs, feelings, yes, they're creative on some level of reality, but really in the higher level of, 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 of reality creation, they don't manifest or create anything. They just reveal the creation that already exists, reveal the potential that already exists as you, as all that is. Reveal one quantum possibility that already exists. But because there's only one thing, that one thing, that one God consciousness, that one awareness, that all of that isness, Within that condition is the potential of all things. That's what we're always, always talking about, right? You are the creative act. Your state of being, who and what you're conscious of being, is the only reality, is the only experience, right? So, so really, really hitting that today. So all thoughts, all feelings and things are resistance or change in that changeless reality. Because he was talking about, I'm feeling a lot of resistance when I have a thought and then I'm trying to figure out whether this thought is serving me or not, or a feeling or a condition. But think about this, all thoughts, feelings, and things are resistance, or in other words, change in that changeless reality. That's what resistance is. Ultimate reality, the kingdom of God, right? That one thing is resistance free because it's whole, it's complete. It's that one thing, it's that one experience, that one awareness. But to experience what it's like to be divine, complete, supreme being that you are, that each one of you are, you experience change within that changeless reality. That's what resistance is. Resistance is a creative power. It's, the, it's, the all, that, it's all that is flowing through you and as you. You're feeling that that power of source flowing through you. And, we, and sometimes we call that resistance or negative emotion, but it's the excitement of source energy running through you as you, right? So resistance is the infinite power and potential of source energy. 
knowing itself experientially as source. That's what resistance is. It's change in that one changeless reality, right? Movement within, in that motionless reality, right? It's the here and now knowing itself as something, as, as there and then, <laughs> right? Resistance in the infinite power potential of source, knowing itself experientially source. In other words, you knowing yourself as all that is. That's where resistance is. To create the experience of change and to know itself as the changeless source. It creates an experience of change where there's no change. To know itself as that changeless source. So you know yourself as that changeless source. The resistance you feel is source, the excitement of source energy, right? Moving through you as you, seeking a receptive in, in outlet, right? A allowing outlet to manifest all that you desire as a physical experience. It's all that isness, the excitement of source energy, right? Flowing through you and as you. And if you just allow it to flow through you as you, it, it finds that outlet to manifest everything you desire. But when we start analyzing, when we start judging and categorizing and, and, and experiencing that one source, that one energy, and we, we call that sensation as negative or sad or something opposite of what its true nature is, remember that your true nature has no opposite. Right? The whole idea of happy and sad and good and bad and negative and positive is a, is a concession, a creation within that changeless reality. Elevated be above all of that is the peace that passes all understanding, is the energy that is pure positive energy that has no opposite. That's who you are. So that's all resistance is. Right? It's, that, it's that excitement of source right? The, moving through you, seeking that outlet to experience itself, change in the changeless reality, to know itself as source. That's powerful today. So for the next 48 hours, this is just, and he really turned it into a 48 hour <laughs> challenge, right? He, he really wanted this, right? See, assume, affirm, imagine every thought, every feeling, everything is as source is an as source, is an as source, and a sign that you're already that person identity you desire to be, that you already have all that you want. We've talked about this idea in many different ways, but I want to hit it from this perspective where he thought thoughts are things, thoughts become things. Oh my God, I'm creating a real, I, I, I don't know what to do with any of it, right? That's all of it. Remember, so you, everything you desire to be, that's all of it is your new life and identity unfolding in the horizontal experience of reality, right? That all that is, all of it, all thoughts, all feelings, all things, whatever you see, encounter, feel, think, is all part of that new life or that new identity. See it all part of that, that, that vertical you unfolding in the horizontal experience. This will seriously change your life and you will begin to take it really much less seriously. He uses the word seriously a lot. And then you go, seriously? Yes, seriously is a great word because, because it seriously will change everything in a very unserious and fun and frolicking and joyful way because you are source. See it all. Take that challenge. It will change your life overnight when you start seeing everything, affirming everything, imagining everything, every thought, feeling, and sensation or thing that you encounter as, an, as source and that it is source. It's a sign, a source of you that everything's unfolding perfectly. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, Thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. We also have a, a Be Something Wonderful Facebook page at Be Something Wonderful. If you want to follow us there, I think we have 101,000 people, something like that, following us on that page. And um, 
Also, the membership channel. If you're a member, thank you for joining the membership channel. Remember, the membership channel offers exclusive content. Another video is being queued up for that. We have released two videos over the last week and a half, two weeks or so, plus a live stream, a third video that was on December 30th. Uh, uh, our ninth live stream that was broadcast on the membership channel. And we have our 10th live stream scheduled for later this month, the last Sunday of this month, January 28th, 2024, the first one of 2024. We're going to do it. We're going to come to you live from the Be Something Wonderful membership channel with our 10th live event. Send your questions to info at be something wonderful.com. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. This is Tom in the studios here of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.